All right, good day. Hi, and welcome. A little bit chilly, not too bad. Nice day. Tried to start my truck, and it went. <laughs> so, got to charge up the battery. So, I got my beaver here. Finally, getting around to him. I, uh, man, look at how hard that hit was. That must have killed him instantly. Like that, the, the dent still didn't come out of him. So you know, you know that's a hard hit when. Uh, I didn't weigh him yet. I didn't bother. Uh, he's probably. Well, I could probably weigh him. I usually do. In this case, I probably won't. If he's like, if he's 10, 10 pounds. So anyway, uh, I gotta get her done. I gotta do some cutting. I'm gonna see if I can remember how to do this. It's my first beaver of the season. So hopefully you guys can see well. Hopefully it won't be too windy. We're gonna cut along the back of the tail. Don't cut through the tail. It gives you something to hang on to. Right. Ooh. Be careful. Okay. And then what we're gonna do? Forgot my bucket. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. I'll use this. Uh, Get yourself like a little container or something like that to throw the the paws and all that. So for the feet, we do is cut up it's not super high, but as high as you can get away with, and then kind of just move the foot around like so. Try to get at the heel. Just watch your fingers, right? And we're gonna take right at the joint. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take it all the way off. But try to leave as much of the hair as possible so you have something to tie. A lot of people make that mistake where they just, they, they cut too high up on the leg and then they have nothing to tie on the other side. And then you just cut it off at the joint or pull off right there. Do the other one again, cut up nice and high. You don't have to worry about uh, the fur grade here because this is all going to be tied in anyway. So, but just try to get it to the base of the foot as much as possible. And... That way, you have as much of the leg left as possible. Just once you get him on the board there, he's kind of stretched out and can make it a little bit tough to uh, to uh, to uh, you know tie up the legs. Sometimes I just use twine, and you can use whatever you want: wire, tie wraps, anything. Anything will work. And then just again take it off the bone. I wanted to get him done yesterday. He's just starting to stink there now. So, I mean, he's stinky enough as it is. Same with the the front paw. Try to get it at like the pad of the uh, the pad of the foot. Again, always cut away from yourself. Again, leave as much as the leg as you can because you're going to tie all that off. Just cut across the top. And uh, beaver hairs, it's kind of coarse, so it does dull your knife quite quickly. So sharpen often. That. And I'm not going for, I know there's guys that skin beavers in like a minute and a half and stuff like that, but they don't show you how many holes they put in the uh, beaver. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's time for sharpen. These beaver knives are pretty good. I haven't used this uh, since last year, so. On a little guy like this, you're gonna probably do more pulling than cutting anyway, so. Let's get that paw. There we go. Now, to open them up. Watch this here. Try not, I know what I gotta grab. Uh, I gotta grab a rag. Have a rag because if you see any blood uh, getting on the fur, 
get that off as soon as you can because it'll uh, stay in the fur. Not sure which rag is going to be the better of the two here, but <laughs> well, just to have it on hand. Now what we got to do is we got to make our main cut. We start at the base here, and we're going to open up and we're going to go around the glands, try not to poke into the glands. Somewhere around here is this little wee wee, and we're going to go straight up and we're going to cut right through to the jaw at the bottom base of his jaw. And I'm going to use this guy. Let's see if I can get him started. So again, it's kind of tricky around the gland. And just kind of be uh, you can use any knife you want. You got to get around the the bung hole. Again, a little bit tricky. But once you get them opened up, it's not so bad. Cuz if you you don't want to poke into anything, and you definitely don't want to poke into his gut. There you go. So, coming around. The idea is just to open them up. And sometimes it gets a little messy at this point, but uh, just don't, just pull up so that you don't get, uh, what do you call it, uh, into the gut. So, it's almost around there. Your first one of the season, take your time. <laughs> you can uh, kind of get a little bit, uh, you know, got to get your learning curve back again. And just pull up like this so you know you're not going into the gut no matter what. Because once you open the gut, eh, like it is, it's just a nightmare at that point. Uh, everything will just flop out and you'll make a mess of everything. So just keep... Like that try to be as even as you can so the pelt stretches even so you're trying you're aiming for the center of the beaver as much as possible this is what's called an open pelt uh, when you put them on uh, a board like a sock and stretch them like a sock that's called a cased pelt for those of you who don't know so again just pull up a bit make sure that you can see the membrane between the like the, the carcass and the membrane stretching. When you see that little stretch, that's when you put your knife in. And when I get a bigger beaver, what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll put the GoPro on my head so you can see it from that angle too. The big one is that uh, just keep mindful as you're pulling that you're not doing this and then your cut starting to go this way. So, like, always kind of, like, aim for the bottom of the jaw. Now, when you get up near the chin, just be extra careful because if you poke into the chin, that's where there's a lot of blood there if you, you poke into that. So, so you don't want to do that because then the way they grade the furs is they grade basically the furs. I'm at his lip here. So I'm gonna, oop, almost. There we go. So now he's open. There we go. So I'll just show you really quick. Wipe your hands off him because you got grease. And grease gets on the pelt. Uh, the other thing is, I know I see lots of guys, they, they do it mano a mano. Wear gloves because the parasites are in the blood. Stuff like that. So you can see what I did. So you just pull up like that. You can see the membrane comes up. Membrane comes up. And you can see I open them up this way. So why I cut the feet off is that it makes it easier to pull the legs through a little bit later on. Then I'm going to grab my other knife. And uh, Well, before I even grab the knife, he's a small enough guy. I might be able to just tear him a little bit. So what I'm going to do is you grab like that and you just try not to slice into the, the pelt as much as possible. So just kind of keep attention on it. And there's the glands right there. We're going to keep those after. Getting around the glands sometimes is a real pain. Get the knife in like this. Watch the point so you don't put it through the... And just, there's like a blubbery spot between the glands and the beaver. And it, it kind of messes you up because you don't know where you are in that in this little spot here. It's the only way to get around is you have to get through that. And you got to kind of like feel your way through it sometimes. But the other thing you do is just gently pull. Open them up a bit. Pulling, don't pull too hard on the on the on any sort of pelt because you can damage the fur that way, and especially if you've got a lot of oil and grease. 
on your hands. What you can do is kind of like peel them like a banana bit as much as you can. Uh, this why this is better because the more you peel them, the less likely you're using the knife. Only use the knife when you have to because uh, and don't worry about how much fat or grease or uh, how much you actually leave on the like you know cut into the cut into the the pelt there see there's a little bit of blood there so I want to get ahead of that way ahead of that because now I'm gonna have blood dripping all over the place and you'll be pulling through the blood so should have maybe waited but up near the head, yeah, up near the head is usually where you get most of the blood. Maybe leave the head to near the last. But the rest of them, you know, again, just don't pull too hard because you can open things that you don't want to. <laughs> and don't, like I say, don't worry about how much fat you leave on the pelt because you're going to scrape that all off anyway. So here's that membrane I was telling you about. Sometimes you get behind it with your finger. And when you do, just kind of like pull a bit. So there, now I'm at a leg. I think I'm at a leg. Yep, yeah, I'm at a leg. So what I'm going to do is try to find the end of the bone of the leg. And then what I'm going to do is kind of work my way down. Almost there. Try not to get, again, too much on the looseness onto the... Uh... And if you could pop your finger, again, take your time, wipe your hands. If you can pop your finger through, like, this part of the leg and see your finger, then... Uh... You can get the leg through a lot easier, so, so just kind of do that. The bigger the beaver, the more you have to wrestle with it. 